Then let us start the recording. Hi. Hey, oh, Yachty. Hey, everybody. I swear I'm not sleep deprived, and. Rebellion here, welcome back to SMT5 Vengeance. Where the game is doing a fantastic job of selling us on the law path by showing the law rep killing people because why the hell not? All right, now I need to remember what I was doing and what I need to... Hold on, did I have the thing still on or no? I did. Let's flip that to normal. All right. Now, what what did I grind? If I remember correctly, I got mainly money. So I could do more fusions. Generic law is bad. Kind of, actually. Like, uh, I'd say a law representative done properly is the Shomankai in what's it called? The Devil Survivor first game. Like, I love that law representation. I I, I actually went the law route because of that. Because it was just, like, weirdly well represented. And in this one, it's... The guy goes to law. And the first thing he does, takes his hat off, revealing a, a new hairstyle... And then start killing people because God said you're not allowed to exist. And that's actually what, like, quite literally what happened, too. I'm gonna just flip my mouse up the down so that way the, it, the, like, the curse does not show up on the screen again. Then I guess I'm taking him feel bad. They're gonna justify siding with him? I don't think they generally will. My assumption is they won't. And if you side with them, it's gonna sort of be a. Well, clearly, the evil, the chaos side is bad, and you picked the right one. Whereas, if I side with the chaos one, I'm pretty sure it's going to say, yeah, you, 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 you have a brain. You acknowledge what happened. Thank you. And, um, uh, Jeppo, who you went with in, S in, in uh, P4? I want to say in my Persona 4 Golden playthrough, I went with, um, uh... Marie, actually. Yeah, because she was introduced in the Golden and I said, fuck it, sure, yeah. Went with it, went all the way to the true ending with her, too. Like, it was nice. Well, the game was pushing her a little bit, like, with how... how much it pushed her into the story. I don't say she was, like, a clearly intended one in any way. I feel like the other girls probably fill that checkbox a bit more. But at least in Golden, how much she just kept on bringing brought up and she had a whole dungeon dedicated to her? Like, yeah, why not? I mean, most of the other work ones did too, but still. Hers was out of the way and introduced. It was- she was intended. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. But alright. As some might see, there's a different unit in the party. Why is that? Well, I grinded off stream. And I made sure to only do a little bit of grinding. We have al almost half a million money. And some new demons to just sort of throw around because I just made random demons for a while. We have... A Tavaka. I tried to make sure most demons had no weaknesses wherever I could, but I did also make the very expensive and possibly detrimental choice of making sure that most of the units that I made had Enduring Soul. Sort of getting a jump start on the process of of making sure that most demons have that so that we cannot be completely screwed. That will also mean that most demons we summon from the companion are going to cost at minimum like 30, 40 K. But still, what's the worst that could happen? Anansi was made. His route, I think, did let me use one that had one of those skills. And he was also one of the earlier ones I made, so he's just kind of here. He has an open weakness. He's probably not going to be used, but it is fusion fodder. 
King Long was made. And he got... I think this Fire actually was a weakness of his, and that discovered it, but I don't remember. Pazuzu was made, I want to say, partly because, again, Endurance still could be passed on, so why the hell not? Other resistances, including this Physical. But it was also part of a secret fusion, I think, and I just decided, what the hell, why not? Let's make one. Or not secret, but the special fusions. Loop Guru? The fight that we kind of skipped in the second area because the Kadish dude decided to show up was made, along with Souffle de Claire, which I'm pretty sure is one of the strongest skills in the entire game. But it's on a on a unit that cannot like actually utilize it. Yeah, because it's a magical skill on a physical unit. And it felt like that was one of the weirdest things that they did, just Mercifully. Viritra was made as well. Again, Endurance Soul is an amazing skill. But also these, so he's actually kind of okay. He has Mediarama, he has Axel Claw and Shockbound. Like, I could actually see us using him just for having no weaknesses and like a random ass heal. He also is, would be one of the units that would work in the um, uh, multi teams because of the... What? You be got... Needy, what? You be... He meowing up at me. He's gonna jump up here. Yeah, he is. Kitty. I love you, Kitty. What are you doing? He's just standing in front of the fucking computer now. You be... What? Kitty. You just want to Yes, no cat sounds because my mic has a song that I think that blocks him up. Yubi, careful. There he goes, he's gonna run off again. If you bite him, no. But he has him a pandemonic feast, so multi hit attacks have better accuracy and more maximum hits. Two good noise gatings, weirdly enough. So if you had a bunch of people that had this, you could multi it like crazy. And if you had someone that made sure that you had maximum, uh, that all multi hits hit for the maximum amount, it'd be hilarious. Kumhanda, I believe, was also just made for the sake of it. I think I had a purpose for him. Clotho, I know, was just made with no purpose of it at all, but why the, I just made it because, again, endurance will be passed on. Including with this physical. Kinky was made, and I want to say was made as a possible team unit or maybe component for a future team unit. I don't remember. Lamia was entirely just made. Again, Endurance all passed on. Anzu was... I don't know why, actually. I think it was a unit that I had never made, and I figured, why not? So you notice he has a bunch of the Draco Strikes. So I made sure that at the very least, there is something that he could be used for in the future. For elemental physical coverage, I guess. It... I think Yui just knocked something down the under him. I don't know if I should go check. Hegaton Kreese was made with a very specific purpose in mind, though. He is apparently one of the earliest uh, instances where we can get... Critical Zealot and Fizz Pleroma. And he is going to be part of the loop that we can use to get him uh, what's it called? Our first um, uh, Project Demon actually started. He can be fused with Lamy, I believe, or someone else, to be made into a component that goes into Artemis. And with that, we can get the skills we want onto her. And actually start trying to use the statues and make sure that she gets leveled up immensely. And that is, again, assuming we do not get distracted. It's going to be entirely on how that works out. And Yubi, you've jumped on my desk three times now. Welcome to the world. If he did, I am forgetting that part, which is very much on brand for me, Capricorn. Okay, I made sure to register everyone. But now if I go to Fusions, at the very least, we have a lot more that we can see on the board. Yawata no Orochi. 
Ma. Rulu. Mitra as well, actually. Fenrir. Which I don't think he was in the original SMT5, actually. Here's the damage of using ice attack by 1% for each rank on the ice skill potential of allies in the active party. Throne, Cerberus, Mont, Gomagog, Kresnik as well. The Vampire Slayer is here. Well, it's Kudlak. And I don't think I saw like a demon that really called for my attention just yet. Specials? I mean, all the ones that can be made now have the, um, uh, like their components visible. Her, we're missing this one first, but I can make that one now when I get the level. She is missing Loki and Mithra. 65 Mithra. That's the Norns, which, yeah, uses these girls. And then she's the one that I want to make. She is going to be the Mage Hassel Toby girl. When and if we can get it. She's going to be probably one of the uh, project teams that we make. And that's just Lilith. I'm surprised she doesn't use the Kadishtu as, like, components. Return. Right, let's go back to Shakan. Which I actually, at this point, don't know if it's considered the fourth area or not. My assumption is no, just because it's not like a Da'atama style area yet. Like, it's not labeled that, so I'm assuming it's just a, a random dungeon. Alright, so let's heal everyone. And I guess I am going to use you. You can be Fatal Sword to have better chances of what's called critical hits and light and dark coverage with no clear weakness. But I have a bunch of random stuff I could throw in if need be. Okay, this is the way forward as well. Young man. I sense angels up ahead. Hold on a moment, a man. We'll listen to the conversation. What are they saying? <laughs> What's the situation regarding the demons and the demon invaders? What? Sir, the demons are being dealt with. However, it appears the saint is among the intruders. That cannot be. She must be after that power for herself. A cursed saint. So this is how she betrayed us after our master graciously spared her life. <laughs> no one must be allowed to reach the inner sanctum. Make haste. We cannot let... Her profane this sacred space. Now then. The saints. I thought she died. We avoided a fight for now, but what did they mean when they said that the saint is among the intruders? Hmm. What? Explain yourself. <laughs> I don't believe it. So Hiromine was working for the Kadishtu, and Isunokami died trying to save you? Based on what you told me, it sounds like the key to reviving Tiamat was the Dragon Slayer in Ahobino. In other words, you and Algami. Which means it's possible that Hiromine befriended you in order to report your activities to Lilith. I see. Now that I think about it, Aseth abducting him, uh, a sister and forcing him to fight you wouldn't have made sense unless she knew about your friendship. So she was conspiring to trap you the entire time, all while trying to avoid drawing suspicion onto herself. But... Still, I don't believe everything about her was a lie. I expect she may have felt some hesitation as well. In any case, given what we know now, it seems safe to say the saint, uh, the saint those angels were discussing is indeed Hiromine. We should go. We don't know why she is here, but I'm concerned about that power they mentioned. We should hurry onward. Is it going to spawn in some demons for me to fight, or no? Oh, we good. I don't know why, I thought it would spawn more cherubs or something. 
Or not cherub, and this one, it knows in its new ways, right? And there's where we, or down there, I believe, where we found the little blocks. Wait. That is... Oh, wait, I'm supposed to go the other way. I'm supposed to, like, wait, jump there, maybe? Or just jump down and then explore properly. Okay, yeah, never mind. I thought I was in the in a in a room I already visited. Ah, well, all right. This gave me a, in fact, a lot of nothing. Good to know. Well, let's make sure where is the next. So if I do that one, it will line me up there, which is actually where I started, I believe. And if I land there, it will get me on, I want to say, probably the right path to move. No, probably still not. How do I get these ones? Okay, look up, and let's see where a crystal would be that would let me... Actually, it's on that little path the entire way around, so it's got to be from... Oh, God! Well, now I'm done here. In that case... There's like anything back at the beginning, so... I think this is the only way I can go. I get this one. New ways, essence, and this actually still takes me nowhere. <laughs> All right, so now that I'm on the side, I can move forward. Okay. I cannot make that jump, do not try. Up and down and all around, yeah. That will put me up on that bottom area, which will let me go there, which will let me go here. And that's how you do it, all right. Wait, no, this slip. Yeah, that's the way forward, accidentally. Fuck. Yeah, I fucked up. I'm supposed to go on that one right there. I think. Yeah. All right, I'm right. Here we go. Now I can get these two. A bead chain and uh, Chernobog vessels. All right, there we go. Now I've gone to that one. Oh, if you actually fall down, they have little stairs for you here, too. Nice. Didn't actually know that. This isn't on the map, so I've actually not activated this one yet, so at least to explore a bit, I'm going to activate it, because why the hell not? Nah, of course. This takes you nowhere here. It just sort of teases you that, hey, if you'd guessed that's something right, you would have been able to get that up there. To which... It's elevated to be from right here, and this one was one I did not get. Two grimoires. All right. Oh, I, I, I still hate that it looks like I can land on that one, but I just won't. Wait, no. This one will go up, and it will let you move forward at the very least.
All right, here we go. Got all the chests back there, and now we can just keep going. There's more to find up there. Hold on, what? Okay. That's, uh... Not mine. There's the neighbors having a bit of a fight, I think. That's what I'm hearing. How do I get up there? I was gonna have to do some sort of upside down shit, but no, it's just as easy as just walk around. What? Physical Devoner. I have too many of those. Okay, alright. Demon who walks on hallowed ground. Hear me. The Kadishtu mean devoted one in ancient tongue. Long ago, those demons served a, sta a station of faith befitting their name. And those witches now seek to destroy the order of the Bull God, in retaining uh, retaliation for the humiliation they have suffered for so long. In other words, their motivation is but personal vengeance, and they are willing to use anything and any, uh, anyone and anything to accomplish that. Those demons are no more, and yet their will continues to be vi um, uh, violently carried out. What foolishness. The intruders have no business in uh, defiling these sacred grounds. They don't look to get back at us. How dare they? Okay, here's where they're gonna summon shit. I can almost tell. Is that a Goker over there or no? Looks like just like a floating ring. I'll see some enemies on the map. Walking around. Wait, what's that red? It is your Golger. What up, my boy? Oh, God, he's actually coming over here. I guess he's not just going to patrol down there. Wait, how do I get that? There's got to be a way to loop around, I think. And then this side. More ladders. Oh, now you go across the sentinels. They're the ones that are going to be walking around. Look on the map. Okay, if I go up that staircase, then I can come back and... Okay, the Yogers do turn around, which means I probably have to fight one of them or... I just need to wait till they reach the end of that little lap, and then I can do something. Or I go down in the bottom and draw their attention. Get down here, little guys! Okay, now once you step on this, they despawn. Or not despawn, but I guess they now live down there. Purge charm and a kinky lessons. Nice. That goes down. Let me get a view of this place. It's not a upside down area, is it? Apparently not. There's up. Okay, not that way. Good to know, game. Not that way. But if it's not... There's only one one way in, isn't there? Because, yeah, if you step down here... 
Yeah, there's nothing to turn the level upside down. Okay, I was thinking that maybe you have to like approach this under like the certain a certain tile pattern and then it would let you go through. One more time just to make sure I'm not paranoid or stupid. I don't see another way through this. Let's say I'm like you go graph to aggro that guy down here. I don't think so, right? Yeah, he doesn't even see me. Nothing I can jump from here to there. Okay, and they. Okay, alright, that's what it is. Oh, they do gain on me, though. There we go. Just to get them to actually be angry enough to chase me. Then there's a little thing for me to loop around. Life Train Gem. I couldn't get the gold card. I There are so many gold cards, apparently, and I've just not used them. Muscle drinks. Though in my defense, <laughs> recruitment is evil. You there, have you found the treasure here? Or perhaps are you not privy to the existence of treasure of the treasure to begin with? Rumor has it that the creator hid something truly extraordinary here in Shakan. I heard it was sealed away 18 years ago before Armageddon, for fearing of it falling into the hand of the Lord of Chaos. If we were able to attain such a thing, the Demon King's armies would surely rally, even in the absence of Lord Ma Ariok's leadership. But a treasure of such magnificence is sure to be kept under tight guard. I suppose the inner sanctum would make for a logical location. How's it getting, Radicate? Welcome! Oh, yeah, I made a couple of fusions. We got a, um, uh, a Tavaka, Anansi, King Wong, Pazuzu. None of them really optimal, but I did make sure that a lot of demons now have Enduring Soul and Resist Physical, for no reason than to say I now have that everywhere. It has made it so consequentially, whenever we decide to make a new demon, Companion Summons might cost sometimes upwards of 30 to 40,000. But it's doing alright. How's Iron Man's project going? The demon that you had mentioned that I should make is right here. They need to still level up, but they could be nice. Resist Electric is also here to be passed on, but I think we're probably going to have to use that for essences. Considering the limited uh, limitation of how many skills can be passed on, it's one of the easier ones to get at the very least. Because Critical Zealot and what's it called? Fizz are probably going to be the big ones that we have to pass forward from his side. Oh no. There's a lot of treasure here. And if there's a lot of treasure, then I'm going to be assuming there's going to be a lot of defenses for the treasure. I just don't want to assume. At least if we know her. So, well, no, the idea is, uh, is that for general use, Astral Saints is going to be the main DPS, also under Omega Toki. But when you can set up charge attack flow, the alternative attack is going to be the one you want yeah, You want for non-Omega Toki turns in, in boss fights. Yeah. We have not enabled this one yet, so I'm going to say sure. 
Let's just go through every single one that I have not touched, just so that way I can properly try to get everything. Opinions on Tsukiyomi and uh, Nahobino. Honestly, aside this not being a sword anymore, I'm kind of meh about it. The design, at least I like the purple, I'm gonna be honest. The face mask feels a bit too edgy for my taste, but it could work. As for the skills, though, the skills is where I am, uh, am intrigued, I'll say. Elusive Eclipse could be amazing if we had a way to actually boost our evasion. But I do not know if there is actually a skill that does that aside like some uniques for other demons. That like instantly max out your evasion. Or we just start pumping all of our points into um, uh, agility. Moonlight Frost is also just nice. Like, I'm kind of shocked at how many fierce magical skills have been added to this game. But aside this, and maybe Moonlight Clip, I want to re a spec. I don't see much to gain from this initial base in my essence. this one yet so let's see where does this take me fucking nowhere all right but that one has been gotten so let's search for other pyramid things i'm just gonna try to go to all all right the game crash or not the game crashed the pc crashed let's see how much progress i lost I need to now remember that I can save anywhere. And yeah, I need to do all of this again. Let's just run through it real fast. At least I remember what I have to do, so it's not like actually that detrimental, if at all. I'm gonna start pretty much saving every time I enter a new room now. Which items were not, like, actually able to be gotten, but I'm still going to grab every single one if I can. And then from here, it was, yeah, you have to make, you have to make them chase me. Yeah, because they don't want to chase me just yet. Not until he notices. Gotten, that's a life card, I believe. Or, yeah, a uh, gold card. I want to say life card. Alright. In here. And now, save. Okay, it was good on my end. It's shitting itself. I do not know what's going on. I am sorry. Something has decided to try and kill my PC, and I do not know if it's itself or something else. I guess I probably should have asked that as well as like a primary thing. Can any can everyone see and how does the stream look? Because I'm understanding right now that the bit rates might not be great. I'm going to want to check everything. Nowhere, if 
Especially because I can't... Yeah, I can't use my sword whip thingy while I'm falling down, so that is a loss for me on that. This takes me nowhere. This one... This is back to the beginning area. Fuck. Let's go to one of the further ones for all I know. Let's see. Nothing. I mean, aside from HP, but... Some of these. Well, at least I think I can guess right now. That one sends you to move forward, so let's avoid that one for the moment. Instead, go for this one. Of course, by doing that, I'm just, like, selecting every incorrect one. I already did that one. This one was not selected. And it... Ah, fuck. I just did the one that lets me go forward. I mean, I'll unlock this and save that I did that, but I want to get the treasures. Let's go to the big obvious metal one then and see. I'm pretty sure this. Oh, this is much more elevated than I thought. I technically jumped to that one right there, but. I can also jump to this one. Charge gems and concentrate gems. But like this one actually right here, I don't know how you would get to from upside down point because that's not available. I guess I'm noticing right now also like some of these things feel like you just can't get them. I guess right here would be gone from that. Which has none here to get it, so how do you hmm? I'm pretty sure the way to get all of them, like, I'm not going to say that they made an impossible puzzle. It's more of, I'm wondering how to do it. Read the map much harder. I mean, I am dumb. I'm not going to try and hide that fucking fact. Alright, 
so let me. This one was not used. All right, here's one gotten. Pazuzu Essence. That's actually good. I'm going to save after getting pretty much every single one, I think, just because I do not know when my PC is going to crash again. I've already gotten that one. This one has not been gotten. But it leads me to the top of one that has nothing on it. That one hasn't been gotten. And that can be gotten with that one right there, I think. But let's turn the map upside down now to get this. Actually, I might just do the center one just so I can force the map upside down fast. Or this one right here. Why the hell not? to get those two. I need to flip the map up on this side. And this one has not been triggered. Two more. Fluorescence and 20,000 Maka. Not bad. I always needed more money. Alright, there is one two more that I can see from this position. Let's go to that one over there. And this one is interesting because for this one, there actually is no flip area. So there's got to be something else to get to this. And I'm going to suspect it's probably this right here where we have to jump it. go. Another 20,000 Maka. Alright. Now where is another one? Because I know there was one more. I saw it. There it is. This one is also like a big square with no direct way that I can tell, but there's one right there. I see it. It's hiding behind, but I feel like I would have gotten, I would have seen it if I did that. What? Oh, no, I didn't see it. Yep. Here we go. Of course, elect it's an elect gem. It doesn't matter what the elect gem is. And that, I want to say, is all of them. I don't actually know how to f like I'm pretty sure this shows the map of everything so all right let's get to this one and then from here 
Yeah, there's only one right there that we did not get because we our thing's already full. And... Actually, wait, no, that one we didn't get yet. If it was... Wait, did... Uh, does the act of flipping the map reset that? Because then maybe. Because, yeah, if it's grayed out like that, I feel like we have not gotten it yet. Because, yeah, if we've gotten it, it would show up like that. You know, I should have expected that I cannot make that kind of jump. I'm gonna run the lap. Oh wait, that just takes me back here, and then it's one that I can't. Yep, that's the elect gem. Yeah, that's the way forward. We've just gone from that one at the far edge. Yeah, it's just right here. I'm a fucking... <laughs> no, it's not. the one over there. Here we go. Rex, you are? Alright. Thank you for your dedication. Wait, no. Alright, those are cherubs right there. I guess we have to actually fight them now. Or is this a... No, it is. <laughs> halt, infidel. You trespass upon sacred grounds. Ahead lies the path to the inner sanctum. No demon... No demon can be permitted. Leave now or be destroyed. <sighs> Not a thing that can be reasoned with. We have to push through, and then... Let's go. I don't think I ever found out. Yeah, I never found out their weaknesses or anything. This will do. All right, darkness. Damn it! Well, witness him for the moment. I'll get it for the buff, I guess, but that's it. Hmm. They would use Judgment Light or Wind Breath. Only you are open to light. And me and Ma. Tavaka are open to what's it called? You know what? What am I even wa waiting for? It's time. Focus on getting rid of one at the very least. Actually, weirdly tanky. Yeah, it's kind of weird how tanky you are. Oh my god, I didn't manage to kill one. What? Oh no. 
Oh no! <laughs> they still have Concentrate, they now have Magatui Critical, and an attack buff. Alright, make sure Wind of Me is up. Actually, hold on. Yeah, it's Wind or Light. It's one of them. Actually, wait, this ignores the Affinity and pierces through. Huh. Shit, I didn't realize Judgment Knight pierce Judgment Light now pierces through resistances. It's Pierce Light Multi. -end. Ah, that's up. Uh, that's pain. Well, as I know, they only have multi-hit. Boost the damage for the moment. It's light. Ow. Surprised we lived. Yeah, the game was very merciful by not hitting someone twice. When the potential was seven. <laughs> yeah, we could have just wiped right there. Wait, is he just going to start doing it? I guess probably because the attack buff is still up, if I have to guess, that's why. Oh god, alright, it actually managed to kill her. Yeah, he's gonna start just spamming it now. That he's almost done, I guess. Yeah, that could have been a... That could have been a very fatal encounter. This power. You are the Nahabino of Vessel Japan, but your appearance does not match our reports. Your home is fading. Why do you stand against us? Hmm. Now we can finally proceed. Toki's gonna disappear? Right. I'm sorry, not intention of hiding it. But I didn't have a chance to tell you. You are already aware that uh, the Tokyo you've always known is a miracle formed by the Creator. This miracle is known as the uh, Shekna Glory. You may have heard the name before. Hmm. However, we recently confirmed that the power of the Shekna Glory is waning and Tokyo is beginning to disappear. This is likely a result of the Creator's defeat by the Lord of Chaos. In order to save Toki from disappearing, dissipating, we need the power of a Nahobino. But, but there is no time to fully explain right now. We'll uh, pick this up once we conclude our business here. Did anyone mention anything you, uh, when you got? Oh yeah, they said they mentioned now that it's like pretty damn nice. I mentioned, yeah, it's pretty cool. But, like, four times of the same skill being used constantly? Very good. It helped us nuke one enemy, or one of the bigger encounters, I believe. But I don't think we learned or thought about anything about that. Wait, it has charge built into it? Oh, it's a charge type skill. It persists until you attack. 
Does that mean you could do that, wait again for it to lap until critical, use critical, and then attack? Yes, all right, so I was wondering about that. Hmm. The Cherubim. Hmm. In the Order of Angels, they are ranked as second highest. So strong with their power and faith, they were once charged of protecting the Garden of Eden itself. I'd say if we can bring in angels like them down, that's proof enough of, uh, that our fusion is working out well. But we won't stop here, of course. We will reach even high greater heights. Your power's now being withridden. We are nothing but strength. I'm gonna heal just because I do not know if we're about to actually fight a boss or not. There's an enemy around here. Oh, it's a Pazuzu. Alright. I think we can't run straight. Yep. They're going to summon Yagulgur to make sure that we don't get past. Oh, wait, no, that's Ifrit. That was going to be Yagulgur. Yeah, you don't got much for me right now. Thankfully, all you did is attack up. I'm keep on fishing for a crit. Oh, hey. Thank you for letting me through. And now Hayatara wants to talk. Right when I got past it. You got another essence right there as well. Why was that there as if I was gonna jump down? And that is the way forward. I assuming if you wanna avoid that entire mess. That is the way forward. Oh great. I'm willing to bet I need to wait for you to see me and then, yep, now they all hate me. Same thing as last time. Oh boy, that was close. And then from here... There's an item. There's an item over there, but I could just go this way and get to the ley line. <laughs> Gonna save constantly. And the item is right here. What are the odds that's actually good? an attack mirror. I mean, that's actually kind of alright. I don't know if there's anything else down there, though, funny enough. There is an item, and I got everything wanting to kill me. The bomb of life. I did all this for a bomb of life. And I got away with it. 
Didn't even really learn the map. I just got away with that. Alright, Hayataro, what do you got for me? Pardon me? Two agility is not bad for you. Right, I see already a trail of what's probably a Golgers right here. Yep, a Golger. Why is the oh it's probably a jump down thing. Ya Golger. Tasty little human down here. And now they are stuck. But now if I want that item, I probably gotta jump down to it. Widowed goat. Okay, that's actually very important to get. That's my that's my get out of jail free card one time. Wait, hold on. Okay, hold on. No, never mind. I thought based on the map that this was going to be like another staircase to go up, but it's not. All right, there's the Yagulker over there waiting for me patiently. point of that when oh we need to get them both down there all right i didn't see the gogers climbing around there just yet There they are, slithering my way. One down. Don't jump down there from that side just yet. Wait, did I only get two of the three? There was three there, right? Okay, no, there are more than only two, actually. All right. I thought I accidentally missed one. I was just going to say, all right, fuck it. We're just going to fight it then. All right, this item was a bead that was sort of taunting us over here. You say you're from Japanese branch and Master Mastima sent you? I heard no such news. That said, with our enemies having traded as far as they have, I suppose we ought to accept... Okay. Help from wherever we can get it. What? With the crater now in hiding, Shakan is the vital piece in maintaining the uh, Sheikna glory. Um. Should they means reach the inner sanctum, the end of uh, Sheikna glory will be hastened. The intruders must be eradicated immediately. I still do not have much faith in the angels. Okay, I was actually going to say, wait, why did the music stop? How atrocious. The intruders should find their way in, uh, shouldn't hear. Master Abdiel, forgive me. Yeah, for being called power, you don't got much of it at the moment. Alright, there are multiple items. There's two of them, but multiple. And this room is actually new. Tavaka's essence. The another one right here to the right. There, left. They're, get, they're just really showering me with essences, which makes me feel like I should be doing a, a several fusions along the way here. But I am largely saving them. Lavish demon box. That's for giving to the demons, I believe. Which I've also actually yet to do. Young man. Be careful now, Kami. Something feels wrong to me. Just to make sure we're fully prepared. Get ready, because we're about to die. Hmm. 
me see. Should I maybe just put Hecatonkeries on the team right here? Maybe just like slap him onto the team. He also had actually wait, no, he had the wind weakness and a mirage weakness. Mm. I'll hold off, but I'm gonna keep him as an idea that we can use. Welcome back, Angelo. Let's see what's going on. That power has been sealed away. It is forbidden to release it. How do you justify it? Locking up what offends you. Don't you feel any shame, O oh, Archangel? <laughs> you had best watch how you speak to me, silly child. Our Lord thinks in ways beyond you. He had his reasons for sealing you away. If that is what your blind faith tells you, cling to it until the world dies. The world? What are you doing? <laughs> I feel it. My true power is resting here. You do not look like you are a Bethel. And if not, who are you? I am the Archangel Abdiel. You are not allowed here without permission from the Most High. I must insist that you leave. And if you do not wish to comply... That face... I know you. Nahobino of the Japan branch. You are a fool to try for godhood once more. Now you face judgment by an archangel's blade. This battle is for Atsuta. Use all we have and defeat Abdiel. Abdiel fight. She's actually higher level than us, so I gotta respect it. Here. You are weak to curse. Alright. I don't know why I didn't just, like, figure that out already. What? This bitch! Damage times 1.5 when striking a foe's weakness when a Herald Demon is present on either side of the battle. 
Nothing here says dodge. This thing can always critical hit, which is rough. Fire everywhere. All right. Five hits of 80 power to one foe. That's interesting. All right. And seal, lower defense. All foes. Accuracy, 40% chance of instant killing or striking weakness. That right there. We don't have a weakness, though. Slash, yep. Figured when I saw the five hits. Witness me! You know what? I feel like I should succession and then uh, wait for the next critical. Because I want to see how funny that can be. I want to try it at least once. And now it's waiting for my next attack, I believe, right? Yep, next attack of self. So Kanabi Avail is not an attack, I believe. I have items that can also just use as like a pocket of stuff. I'll get rid of the defense down from that. Oh yeah, what's that physical block that we can use because like, a good amount of our stuff is physical. I just don't want to spend that much SP right, or MP right now. Be gone! I am the Divine Sword of God! Would an item be the charge? Not if they're not attack items, I believe. I'm going to use a... I just can, so why not? Let's max out the buff. And also overheal. I should not have actually used the bead. I forgot about that. That's the dangerous one. But someone blocks it, so we don't give a shit. Dark gems. All right, do another witness me. Why not? I'm actually gonna pass. Guess I can get this to someone else. Damage is damage, and it's actually more than the dark gem, sort of, but it gets doesn't get press turns. Got rid of the defense buff, but still doing no damage. Almost to the Magasui. Next turn, we're going to do it. But we should use our buff here to make sure we maintain all of this. Let's get MP for her. That's way too little. Think twice. Probably. No clue. This will do. Take this. Be gone. I just wanted to do it.
Watch this. All right. Let's see. Six hundred, six hundred. Oh, it doesn't give. I was I remember was thinking that. Wait, did that give me four um, uh, press turns? But no. Three thirty nine on that though is actually pretty good. Greedy red boning a little bit. Buffs are not going to wear off yet, so we are fine. Okay, that's still farted, yeah. And let's keep the witness me up. Unless I want to do that for a little bit more, it's not going to be enough to kill. That still uses up your entire press turn. To use Aramasa. I think um, uh, Sakanagi does actually more, and that's why we went for that. Banking on the crit. Oh, I was hoping it would be enough. You're a bit late to that. I was wondering why she had not used her Magasuhi whatsoever. Impossible. How could I have fallen? It's done. That was well fought. Hmm, I believe that was Yoko Hiromine we saw earlier. However, her presence did not feel entirely human. Could she be the one guiding Tiamat, as Mastema had mentioned? Perhaps it would be best to pay him another visit. Ah, you've returned. Do enlighten me with tales of what transpired within Shakan. I see. So that is what happened. As I suspected, you fought the obstinate Abdiel. But I'm certain such a battle served as a valuable lesson to her. The more pressing matter is that girl Yoko Hiramine. So, she has regained the power of a goddess. In ancient times, the gods that ruled the world were chosen by the goddesses of creation. Their purpose was to select the god that would become the next ruler, but the creator viewed this custom as a threat. As such, Yoko Hiromine was sealed away by the creator 18 years ago. And as irony would have it, she came to serve Bethel as an exceptional demon exorcist in the current day. Indeed. Her trust in the Creator was betrayed, and she came to harbor a deep hatred for Bethel. It is likely she made a deal with the Kardishtu in exchange for their assistance. Afterwards, she worked alongside the Kardishtu in order to reclaim her power. No doubt that is why she approached you as well. It was surely connected with the Kardishtu's aims. In other words, the Yoko Hiromine you met could be seen as a manifestation of the goddess Yoko who was sealed away. Now that she's attained her apotheosis, her true goal is utter annihilation. Nahobino, if possible, I ask that you make your way to the Empyrean and stop her. It is the world's fate to be remade. Birth, death, then rebirth. 
But if the throne is destroyed, that cyclical system will fail. Without the remaking of the world, all of humanity's souls will be lost, doomed to eternally wander the abyss. My lord does not wish for that to happen. Please lend us your strength, Nahobino. What about okay? And some levels for random people. Very good. Life aid is recovery for the next after battle. Meh. And that's Dragon Eye, which I wish still was the effect that we all know it to be that the enemies use against us. I, I, it'd be so cool. You know it would. You know it would be cool. It would be awesome to have that effect on the allies team. So if you use them uh, one crit turn it before Sakanagi, eight hits from the other. In succession and then crit is five Sakanagi's, eight hits from the other. So technically more damage, but doesn't lock you out of using attack. So yeah, currently the battle would have been, uh, would have ended faster if you were just too critical. Hmm. There's another idea where one of the turns where you use my critical, you use Sakanagi, then bank the other demons, giving you potential for eight Sakanagis. Mm. Probably even two successions, or one succession and then one crit. Yeah. Okay, that's just a neutral one right there. For no reason. That's Zyodyne. Or Zeodyne. 250 to one person, but Shockbound at its minimum is almost that. Like a light gem uh, to hit an, an immunity, which gives you a bonus press to, uh, next turn. Yeah, that'd be fun. I'm gonna say meh to uh, Zeodyne for the moment. <laughs> Endure, you have Enduring Soul, you don't need that. Odoon is better than Nakajama, I guess. I never thought I'd hear an angel instructing us to go to the Empyrean. As a Nahobino, we could potentially ascend the throne there and reshape the world. Is Bethel saying they'll allow this? In any case, we should return to Tokyo for now. There is much to fill you in on, and we should discuss our next move. Alright then. We gotta return to... Where the fuck did you... Where did you... Oh, but... I can't go there. Okay, I can. I just need to go around. Around? Right. There you are. Never mind. I can't even get it. Let's get back to Japan and. Wait, Cadaver's Hollow. What do you have? You brought Mark? Ambrosia and Muscle Drink. I mean, that does cure him, uh, but has a chance to inflict Charm uh, Fusion Mirage. That one. The Ambrosia is actually alright. Life Drain Gem. Meh on that. Oh, that's it. Alright. Then for the essences. Jotayu's essence. This one we never got. And Thunderbirds, which I think we did get, but I've used up. 
then Horus, which is Megiddo, Diorama, and White Dragon Strike, I guess, is the bare one there from, uh, from what I probably use. That's his essence is Hellish Mask, I believe. Getting ch chance of getting insta killed or afflicted is reduced, but that's probably more Zanma when breath. I start with slap. Oh, I am Matsumi. This guy. I mean, Ice Dragon Strike, I guess, would be the one that I would want there. And then Succubus, Dunham, uh, Magicky, if I were to go for that sort of um, route. And that's it. All right. Need anything? All right, but now that a major story moment happened, give me a second. Is there a new one for me? Oh, also, since a major story moment happened and we just beat a boss, let's save first off. Is there any. Aw, oh, there's nothing new? Yes. Yes. Damn it. I was hoping there would be more. I am level 55. Should I start on these? Give me a second. Maybe I will get something after, like in the next little scene, like after we get this and we unlock the next area. Also, wait, what the hell was he? Was this one? Mm. Using less to story Mahama. That's what it was. Which I'm still kind of <laughs> leaving them for.